Mm. A little bit of hair grease go a long way. Put on my face. Welcome back, welcome back to another blood talk. Welcome back, welcome back to another blood talk. My dog was unamused. Welcome back to another blunt talk with Jebediah King, the man with the golden rings, the prophet that is, and will stay and be. Bruh, stop playing with me, please. I burnt my sweater trying to barbecue, and this is my Bob Marley sweater. I feel some type of way about it. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'll be speaking this Sunday through Wednesday. And I just wanted to be, let it be known. I just did a live video on Instagram, yeah, IG, I've been doing live videos on Instagram, and for some reason, as usual, it did not allow me to turn off the live, it didn't save my live, nothing, so, whatever, making it again, can't stop the show, can't stop the show when God's on the road, so I'll be speaking, uh, I just got done, actually, I'm about to take my shot, that's what I sat down for. I'll be speaking. You can't really see everything, but you can see the little banquet stuff. Da 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 da. da. Just like I'm putting all that together. Um, uh, for the pat for the repast, basically of my pastor, and then um, just to have a banquet for the to the for the folks that are outside. Uh, everything that y'all was saw, saw, seeing me do in all my other videos. Um, trying to warm up my leg. It's cold. Uh, was, was was to come to, to this. this. This is the head of it. For me to be able to have my own church and that's what I've been asking for but didn't realize that what came with it. You, you gotta carry the whole church on your back. Thought the members was gonna help me. <laughs> but it's, it's been okay. Lo and behold, it's been all right. I haven't had to use a needle in a long time because I usually have an automatic one. But I haven't been able to get my prescription. So I prepped for this a long time ago and saved some of my needles and testosterone just in case I wasn't able to get my medicine. Like now. Because I don't make hormones like that. I don't make girl hormones no more. So if I don't have my boy hormones in my body, my body don't have no hormones. And that's just not popular. I don't help nobody survive around me. So. You ever been the patient and the doctor? Maybe. <laughs> ah, I can do it all with Christ that strengthens me, though. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry, y'all. This is how I be laughing at myself. Keep hope alive, baby. That work. Hey, shake that thigh. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, shake it down. <laughs> but I just wanted to give y'all an update. I wanted to stop by. I wanted to say hello. Uh, been doing a lot. Been outside um, cooking with the houseless folks again. I've been getting them prepared or starting to get prepared for the winter because it will be cold out here. Very, very cold. I should probably rub that in a little bit more. Very, very cold. Um, it even snows out here uh, sometimes. So I've been trying to get everybody just prepared for what's coming. Same way I've been trying to get y'all prepared for what's coming. I'm thankful, though, that when I go out to the houseless folks, I am more welcomed. I am listened to and we get along because I refuse to be anyone but myself. They know I'm a church person. Well, no, I'm not a church person. They know I work for God. I tell them that all the time. I know a dude from Grape Street. I let him know all the time. Bro, this is G-O-D. I bang G-O-D. What's <laughs> Because at the end of the day, we're all, we're all fighting for something. For 
But at the end of the day, it's going to matter what you're fighting for. Uh, I'm going to go and get me some clothes because I know y'all didn't see me in this sweatshirt. I don't know how many times. So shouts out to the helpers of that. I need to go definitely get, get some shirts and some pants because I left everything. I did not leave it. I decided to leave it behind. Okay, that dog on it. I didn't lose it. I left it on purpose. Um, but I'm essentially rebuilding right now. I'm rebuilding while I'm helping rebuild the church. And I don't mean just the building. I mean the the foundation of it, the thought of a church. When I go out and I try to talk to people like, hey, bro, you want to go to church? You can already tell they got a nasty taste in their mouth. That's that's the response I feel that they're trying to, they can't explain it, but it just has a nasty taste in their mouth. And I understand that because a lot of people feel like the church has turned their back on them, especially during this COVID pandemic or any pandemic or any time of war or something like that, you should definitely be able to turn and go to your church building. Uh, you should be able to go somewhere where you feel safe. You should go somewhere where you feel blessed, you feel holy, you feel sanctified. And some most majority of the times, that was supposed to be the church. So um, I'm going to continue to make this into a safe haven for people that are like me. And by like me, I mean people that are smart, intelligent, they want to do things, they just don't have the support system really behind them to do it because the support system never got the support system. We just going over and over and over again. That's insanity. But I found that if we have one person doing this, the next person doing this, the next person doing this, and everybody brings something to the table, it builds a community. And if we can build on a strong foundation, we can have better communities, we can have whatever we want. The, the opportunities and stuff would be endless. But because we uh, we sell ourselves short a lot, of, a lot of time, we sell ourselves short, we sell other people short, we put our standards so low that nobody has to exceed anything, our communities have started to fall apart. So that's why I'm here. Uh, we're going to keep building from this community on out. But I'm pretty sure in the next coming of months or something, y'all gonna have to make your way this way or make your way to one of the safe havens. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one thinking about it. I'm sure I'm not the only one building it. We're just not talking yet. We haven't figured, we haven't found each other because if we all knew where the safe havens were, we would all be at the safe havens. We would all get overrun. That's not the point. That's not the point of my job. My point is to keep everybody safe. I think ever since I was a child, that's been my thing. I wanna keep everybody safe. I wanna keep everybody fed. So that's what we're going to start doing. I'm going to start opening up from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. here so I can start getting the rest of the, the army. That's what we're going to call them, the army. I call it the army, God's army, prepared and ready for whatever may come. I was right about the COVID stuff. I was right about some other stuff. I've been pretty much right, and that's because God really be talking to me and, and putting me on game so I know where to step, and that's for anybody. He will let you know where to step before you step. It's just your choice. He gave us the choice at the end of the day. So I'm choosing to step up to the plate where everyone else I feel has decided to step down. And trust me, it is not the funnest thing in the world. But it'll be rewarding. I won't have a punishment at the end of this. It'll be a job well done. And that's the goal when I'm done here, I don't know about everybody else's, I want to hear job well done, my son. You did that. I want God to get ratchet. You did that, cuz, on blood, you did <laughs> On Jesus' blood and sandals, bro, you did that. Funny situation, but very serious, very, very serious. You got people outside freezing and stuff like that. I don't know. <sighs> but slowly but surely, we're gonna get everything popping up. Once again, I'll be talking from Sunday until Wednesday, not continuously. Although that'd be fun, wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure I could do that. And God said, <laughs> but I will be uh, one of the speakers. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to keep it as uh, unconventional as possible because I'm an unconventional pastor. I am an unconventional pastor. I think I clicked the thing. Um, and that is what it is. People call me baby pastor now, and it made it completely good, but I love it.
As long as we got love for each other at the end of the day, I really don't care what you call me. As long as it's not a dis disrespectful name, you're not trying to hurt my feelings. It's all love. And love going to help save the world. Love going to help save somebody. I don't know about the whole world. But it's going to help save people. So make sure y'all going out and you're sharing love. Even if you share this video with someone, it's not because I want views. I think I'm the only person at this point I even had to hit up Ralph Smart. Bruh, Ralph Smart. You supposed to be for the people. I'm sorry, because I pop my ish wherever I am, bruh, and I gotta speak up because I don't talk behind people's backs. Like I just posted on your uh, IG. You supposed to be for the people, but you ran. You got people doing views and views this and view, paying your bills, paying for you to go take a trip, which isn't a trip, you ran. You're running, nonstop, full speed ahead. I'm asking all my woke folks, stop running from your purpose. Stop leaving your people behind and then making a video about where you are that's so beautiful and so extravagant, but your people can't even get there. Your deep divers can't even go dive deep with you, bruh. I don't say this stuff to be mean. I say this stuff because you guys are supposed to be leaders. You guys are supposed to be standing up for something, but yet and still, where are you standing? Because you're constantly sitting as far as I'm concerned. I'm sitting right now in, in no motion, but you can see that I am still here moving with the concern of my people, my army. Once again, you got deep divers that can't go deep diving with you. That would be of my concern. My concern half the time, sometimes if I'm eating or something like that and I see somebody that, that's really hungry, they, they trying their hardest, but they really hungry, they can't get no food. Bruh, now my concern is I'm not about to eat in front of you. We all eat it. Anybody that's calling themselves a prophet, anybody that's calling themselves a man of God or a person that's going to lead this and lead that, then do it. If I ever meet you, I'm going to tell you the same thing to your face. I done learned to be as honest as possible because let me tell you, I get good sleep either way. <laughs> either way. But to all the deep divers out there, wake up. Wake up. Y'all can't go deep dive if you wanted to and your deep diving instructor has left you behind. Has left you behind. And if that's not what he's doing, he's just taking a vacation, then Lord have mercy, that's a long vacation. That's a long vacation. Let me tell you, the entire time y'all saw me while I've been out, go check my IG. You can go look at my big old, uh, old videos, whatever, if somebody done recorded those. Any of my videos, you see that no matter where I am, I am helping the people. I'm not just making a video telling y'all to go help the people. Jesus went out and did things with the people. He didn't tell the disciples to just, come on, wake up. So dear Ralph Smart, dear everybody else that's supposed to be helping the people reach their full potential, not your full potential, but their full potential, get your stuff together. Because either way, you're going to be one of the ones left behind just as much for perpetrating as though you were somebody trying to save people and folk. Even if I get left behind in the rapture, that just lets me know I was perpetrating, but baby, I couldn't perpetrate this stuff even if I wanted to at this point. But y'all out there that's perpetrating on my God's time, you have a time limit on that. You have a time limit on your paycheck that you're getting from YouTube because people are really believing in the words that you're saying, but you don't even believe in them yourself because you're not even here to fight the fight. I'm sick of it. I used to watch people's videos and want to be like them. Start paying attention. If somebody not in the gutter with you, don't be in the gutter with them. If somebody ain't never been in the streets and knowing, but they talking street to you, ask a question. It's okay to ask questions. I do it all the time. I told a dude the other. I told a dude yesterday. You move like a narc. You act and talk like a narc. And no offense, your skin color look like a narc. It's nothing wrong with being honest with people. It's nothing wrong with being honest with people. You know, when people get their egos hurt, I, I come, I come to find out that they didn't, they didn't like that honesty. It pricked their ears. It was probably the first time somebody was being honest with them. But coming around me, it won't be the last. 
And that's how everybody should really be. We should really just start being honest with folks instead of hyping them up on stuff that, mmm. Putting them on pedestals that, mmm. The only one that needs to be on a pedestal around me is God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and they all into one. Stop putting humans on pedestals that don't care enough about you to take them, to take you with them. I'm here, and even though I've had nothing, every time I've had something, I'm making sure others have something as well, and then telling them to go give to others and make it like a domino effect. So, dear deep divers, I hope y'all hear me. I don't care about the comments that I'm about to get because, trust me, it ain't nothing worse than what I've had to hear already from my own people. <laughs> Wake up. If your general has jumped ship, if your captain has jumped ship, if your general won't even fight in a battle with you, why are you following that type of leader? As my boy outside said yesterday, he said, I, I can look at you and I can tell you, you gonna go all the way down. You, 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 if something pop off, you gonna, you gonna swing into the last swing. You gonna go down with the ship. You gonna, yes, sir. Because that's my job. That's my J-O-B. Not Job, because I done did that story. That's my job. We go down with the ship because we gonna be the ones that's, that's supposed to. If it's going down. So dear deep divers, dear everybody out there that got leaders, that got generals, that got captains, start uh, giving them surveys, player. Start doing some surveys and seeing uh, if they really about that life for you. I'm about the life for mine, and they know that. Actually, I'm about to get off of here and go out there and check on them, because that's how important they are to me. Dear deep divers, I just keep saying deep divers, and I don't know any other ones that I can say right now. I got gray hairs and stuff. Dear deep divers, y'all going to be diving real deep with the wrong captain. With the wrong captain and the wrong general. Everybody get the right principle of direction. This has been another blunt talk with Shane Alexander or Jebediah King with the golden rings. Hey, come here. And we not worried about a thing. Much love, y'all. Choke.